Hello, today's devotional can be found in Hosea chapter 5 verse 14. For I will be unto Ephraim as a lion, and as a young lion to the house of Judah. I, even I, will tear and go away. I will take away and none shall rescue him. Okay, so a behavior has a lot to do with whether or not we are rescued by the Lord. Because the Lord is perfectly aware of the choices we make each and every day and of the intents of our hearts. He's perfectly aware of people who choose to behave badly and see nothing wrong with behaving badly. I mean, he has outlined consequences of bad behavior perfectly, clearly, and strongly worded in his teachings. But you know what? He still leaves people to their choice. And if they choose to continue in their bad behavior despite knowing that it's bad and despite knowing the consequence as well, I mean, he'll warn them continually and this cycle will go on for a while, but eventually he'll leave them to their bad behavior and be like, okay, you knew what you were doing and you know the consequences and they're coming at you soon. But for those who live righteously and do their best to be righteous, even in difficult situations, he shall bless them immensely and he shall make their burdens lighter. And he may not rescue them from their trials, but he'll give them the ability, Christ will give the ability to the righteous to be able to endure their trials. And he'll help the spirit to be with those who endure all things well. For they have chosen to stay by his side even when times are difficult, and they did not curse God and give up. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, and I mean, he doesn't like to take things away. But it is the choice and the behavior of people that causes him to take things away. And it is also the choice and the behavior of the people that causes him to give. He sees the desires of people's hearts. He sees the faith that people have and doing what he reveals to them. We cannot be afraid to stand for all that is good and righteous. For we shall be protected in doing so and given the strength to be able to do so. Wickedness never was happiness and it never will be. We can lose blessings by investing in wickedness and we shall not be rescued from wickedness because we will have chosen it. So this is why, why it's important to choose Jesus Christ and to choose righteousness simply because we cannot take our choices back once they're made and it is easier to make and live with righteous choices than it is to make and live with wicked ones although we may not realize it right away. The spirit cannot be with those who dwell in bad places willingly and those who make bad decisions will have the spirit taken away from them and none shall be with them nor rescue them. When it comes to making choices, we need to be responsible about the choices we make because all choices have consequences and consequences have after effects, not just on the person who made the choice, but everyone. And Satan finds great glee in people making bad decisions and not doing anything about them. He makes them feel like they can't. The atonement can help them, but only if they want it. Otherwise, Heavenly Father is not going to, and Jesus Christ are not going to interfere in a person's agency. And with that said, I love you all very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.